Hey boys and girls, welcome to Sunday School. I'm so thankful that you could be part of this video. We have a book that we use for our Sunday School lessons. We hope every family received a book. If for some reason you didn't, I want you to call the church office, 664-3600, and we will get a book to you. We want to go to page 10. Today, our Bible story. Boys and girls, remember, isn't it fun to learn the passages in the Bible, the stories, the scripture? Boys and girls, it's such a gift to us that we have the Bible. And so being able to learn these stories is so important. It's just everything for us. So today, our Bible story is from Matthew. That, As you know, that's in the New Testament, the first book in the New Testament. The name of our Sunday School lesson this week is Peacemakers, and this is from the fifth chapter of Matthew, verses 1 through 12. One day, Jesus was walking with his disciples when a large crowd gathered. Jesus went up a mountain with his disciples to teach the crowd. Jesus taught the Beatitudes to the people. The Beatitudes teach us we can always have hope. We can always have hope that things will get better even if we are sad or grumpy or hurt. One thing Jesus said is, happy are people who make peace because they will be called God's children. We are God's children. We can make peace too. Let's see what Samuel has to say about this scripture in Matthew. Hey there, I'm Samuel. Can you imagine being followed by a huge crowd everywhere you went? I'd feel famous. Well, this is what happened to Jesus. People were following Jesus because they wanted to learn from him. He had a lot of amazing things to say and people felt changed when they listened to him. They wanted to know what he thought about the world and how we could all live peacefully together. Sometimes what he said really surprised them. Happy are the people who are sad? Okay, this passage feels like opposite day. How can I be happy when I'm sad? I was so confused when I first read this. Then I realized that Jesus was saying that no matter what situation you're in, you are still loved by God. When you remember this, you can find peace in difficult times. I can be sad about what's happening and at the same time comforted to know God's love hasn't left me. God's love is peace, even when it feels like the opposite of what is happening. It's like getting a hug on a bad day. Last year, I had a really bad day at school. I had a hard test my best friend wasn't at school that day, and I missed the bus to go home. I was so frustrated. I did not feel happy at all. When my dad picked me up, he gave me a big hug. Even though the day wasn't a happy one, his hug brought me peace. He just looked at me and said, today won't be every day. That day at school was still a really hard one, but my dad reminded me that I was still loved and that felt good. For me, my reminder is my dad's hug. For you, it might be a hug from someone else or a friend making you laugh with a funny joke or a teacher that really cares about you. In our Bible story today, Jesus is reminding us that tough times won't last forever. He is telling us that we can find peace in God and teaches us that we won't always have bad days. Now, it's time for you to wonder. Thank you, Samuel. You always do a great job and I always learn something. So thank you for sharing that. And now for our wonder question. How can you make peace with others? How can you make peace with others? 
Thanks for being part of Sunday School. Know how very loved, very, very loved, how dear and how special you are.